Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here today 2015 Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid vehicle and I will be doing engine oil and filter change. If you want to see how it's done, stay with me in this video. And before even starting, I would love to be cautious if you want to do it yourself. Always make sure that the hybrid system, the car is completely switched off and that smart key is away from the car. This car was here sitting overnight, so it was cold in the morning. So I first took it for a short test drive to warm up the engine so that oil can nicely flow out. And I can see the engine oil dipstick is located right here and engine oil filler cap it's right here and i have a bunch of mess right here so i will first go and vacuum it none of it falls in the engine you saw how much mess was here sitting right and there was some right around here and look what was hiding inside of that this is unbelievable Go figure, where is this from? That was sitting right next to the one of the windshield wiper arms. Wow. I continue with pulling the dipstick and I'm always wondering if there was enough oil just to know. This car came first time to me, I never serviced it before. So I wanna see if it was all done perfectly. It's actually perfectly touching the top mark. I like that. I can also remove that filler cap while I'm cleaning it, right? I don't want to, again, any dust or dirt coming in the engine while I will be performing this. And you can see nicely it needs that 0W20 full synthetic. I will let it sit there and I will put this slightly inside and just a note if you ever want to do this by yourself do your say you yourself favor and stay away from all those cables which are marked orange these are extremely dangerous and it's time to get this baby up in the air <laughs> And the Prius is nicely in the air and to continue this I will be opening this cover right here if I remember it's a three if I remember correctly it's a three fasteners and hopefully they don't break right I'm using this tool this is the fastener right so I'm prying that middle part away from it and then it allows me to remove it and the whole cover should flip towards to the front to keep that plastic cover away when you work at dealer you are in a hurry right so you have immediately bungee cord ready because you are in time stress you hook it right here you have the right one right and it nicely stays away I'm not sure if you was able to see the detail, but this is the drain plug, right? And this is the oil filter housing. I have my oil catching pan ready right here, so I can undo this drain bolt, right? It's a 14 millimeter. And here we go. We will get that old oil out. Uh, by the way, I was yesterday on the tool auction, some shop end up its existence in this area and they were auctioning all that automotive stuff and I bought a lot of, a lot of great stuff yesterday. I will make video about it on this channel. Maybe this afternoon or tomorrow when I bring all of it. So stay tuned. It's definitely coming. 
you will love all that stuff I bought there. If you do this yourself, pay attention to the detail. You see that blue gasket? It's sticking to the oil pan, so I will be removing that later, right, to minimize mess and replacing it with the new one, original Toyota. And again, this is great design by Toyota. The, this drain opening, it's very close to the filter, which is right here, right? So I can immediately, if I'm in hurry, I can immediately continue with undoing that filter housing, right? And save the time. And this is modern Toyota, right? I said 2015. So no more removing the filter housing by the hand. This is past. You need a special wrench to continue. And you pay attention where the grooves are, right? They are symmetrical, but not all over. So you need to correctly install it on that filter housing, which is right here. And it's a 3.8, right? And now I will be loosening that housing, right? Nice. When it's going easy, I can remove this entire adapter and continue by the hand. I'm trying my best to show it to you, you know, nicely, uh, but it's hard to film against those white walls. But hopefully you can see it, right? And you, when you loosen it, you don't remove it completely. Again, you just let it drip. When the drip slows down, right, I feel comfortable to completely open this. But look, it still is flowing. So, again, to minimize mess, just be careful, don't rush this. But it keeps coming out. Here you can see perfectly with me how that oil was dirty regarding to the windshield sticker this owner drove it like 2000 mile miles past i don't know why here you can see that filter housing right and that small very tiny filter and the o-ring we will be replacing right now also here is the detail of that blue toyota crusher washer right which goes together with that drain plug so that will be installed later to replace that filter with the new one you simply pull it right out of this housing and you set it aside also i said i will be replacing this rubber o-ring right and as you know me i like to install original Toyota filters you can see how it comes right it even shows you be careful with placing that o-ring it's really important here you can see how it comes to you when you buy it so there is that o-ring still in the seal and here is that brand new filter it has a number on it and so on it says right here installation procedure O-ring must be replaced at every element change. Do not over torque. Just a little note when I was at Toyota, I remember some of the techs will take this housing, get it above the garbage can and use the brake cleaner and they will really quickly, completely clean it from inside out. I wiped it clean. And if I remember correctly, you don't need any pick tool to lift that o-ring. You just grab it with your hands and push it like that. Do you see how it's separated actually? So you can grab it with your fingers, right? And replace it with the new one. But again, there is that groove, right? And it needs to go in that. Somebody could leave it a little bit lower, right? So be careful. Put it correctly in that groove, stretch it with your fingers and you have it ready. I will go and wipe it again. And now I am finally ready to put the new filter. It's either way, right? There doesn't matter which side. So you nicely put it in. Let me see. 
right there, right? So you have it. And, and I will first go ahead and completely clean it, right? I want to get rid of that old oil. I make sure this o-ring is lubricated, right? So it will nicely be slipping inside. It's really important, right? Because you don't want to pinch that o-ring. Uh, that will, of course, mean immediately the leak. So you go by the hand, you will feel suddenly a resistance from that o-ring and you continue slowly. And if you look on the bottom of that plastic filter housing, Toyota went to the gray detail and they even put that info for us that it's supposed to be torqued to 25 Newton meters only. And once again, go slowly in slow increments. I saw it once, I believe, that somebody used maybe 3.8 impact and did it too quickly. And that O-ring, which is inside, actually went out of the place. And after he poured the new oil, he had a leak from the housing and he had to redo it. So that's the reason. Now it comes, right? I touch the end, so I go to 25 Newton meters. So I set up this snap-on torque wrench to 25, right? I will install it and throw it in that filter, uh, uh, the filter adapter, and go. And you heard it. And maybe I can leak a little info about that uh, auction of tools. I love this 3.8. And I can tell you, I bought there yesterday his big brother, Half Drive. So I'm done with that filter housing. But now I can turn my attention to this sticking crusher washer, the blue thing. So I have a little scraper here, right? And I will carefully, without damaging anything, pop it off. And it's pretty easy, right? Here you can see it off and I will replace it with the new one. And you can see it's still dripping, right? Unfortunately. And this is already, I'm here, it's filming, it takes time. And this is already 30 minutes and it still keeps dripping. Imagine when you go to the dealer for the express loop right how fast they do that and how much oil is still in the pan because they have no luxury like me right now standing around and waiting for it to stop dripping but unfortunately i don't have the time to stand here either because the owner will be coming so new gasket right the blue one and i will by hand close it wipe it off and now I need to torque it do you remember what I like to use what torque I know you do you know that all these drain plugs I love to put 40 Newton meters right so it's selected right and again carefully we'll use that torque wrench and I will know it was perfectly done You heard it. It says 40.4. Excellent. Now I wiped off everything clean. It's perfectly installed. And I will put this plastic cover back. Now somebody could say, hey, you should not because you will be observing right after startup if you don't have any leaks. But I can also, don't forget, I can always look through here, right? And I will be able to see there. So it's okay in this moment to put these things back right you just basically push it nicely in you remember it was three of those nice and here comes the third one and I will be ready to lower the car and start filling it with the new oil and you remember I got it first time here in my shop right so before lowering it I will go ahead and do a quick inspection. It's just a visual, right? But do the quick visual inspection for the owner. If everything's fine, right? 
there are no broken parts or some leaks somewhere and so on. And it's all about the detail, right? If I have a little bit of time, I love to give back to the people who hire me, right? And sure enough, actually here the small thing, but one of those heat shields, maybe got hit by a rock or something, and it was rubbing on the parking brake assembly cable. So that's very easy for me to just bend it back by the hand, right? But it's just paying attention to the details. Now we drain all the oil and new one needs to come in, right? This cap tells us it's a 0W20, but how much of this oil? And you know I spoil my customers and I buy them in the case of such a relatively new car, the original Toyota motor oil. So it's that 0W20. And how many quarts? This engine requires 4.4 quarts to prevent the spills, right? And then clean up. I always try to use funnels. But if you invest it in your screw-on funnel, Toyota for 30 bucks, that won't fit here because this is in the way. This one won't fit there either. So now you have to experiment a little bit, right? Filling will be a little bit slower, but it is what it is. No big deal. It will just take a little bit longer than usually. Since the manual says 4.4, I will pour 4 quarts and then I will stop and start measuring the level with the dipstick. I have 4 quarts in, the dipstick is dry, so let's see where we are. What will be the measurement, right, all the way in. And here we go, it's perfectly touching the top. So basically, now you have two choices. You can close it all, start it up, right, that engine, run it for one minute, and shut it off, and wait for approximately or minimum five minutes to take the final measurement. And I guarantee you 100% the level will drop, <clears throat> and you will be required, right, to add that 0.4 of the quartz because as we discussed the quantity here it's 4.4 I know that it exactly will happen so I can go ahead right now even without starting it and put that 0.4 in that's totally up to you I today added that 0.4 I can see it here on the side so I will be closing the whole thing I have a dipstick in, I will nicely put this filler cap back, right, until tight. And I'm ready to start it up and look underneath if there are any possible leaks. What's remaining for me is to replace that reminder sticker which is on the windshield inside of the cabin and also reset that maintenance interval. How that's done, I can show you in different video. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and make sure you are subscribed. I have a lot of stuff coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.